Hello, good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I gotta be quiet to start this one because it's currently 3.18 in the morning. Holly and I are getting up and we're about to get on the move and head towards the airport. Oh, I missed that completely. But it's too slow this morning, guys. Come on, come on. Holly's in a rush. She's been up since... Oh, where is she? Crack of... It's not even dawn yet, to be fair. Yeah. Nah, but we're on the move. We are heading to the bus stop. Let's go. We made it to the bus stop and the bus was driving past. Oh, it's empty. No, nah, this guy does a loop and comes back and gets us. We made it. We are about three hours early for our flight. Well, no, they do say you should be that early, but we're definitely early. It's relatively busy. It is a random Tuesday morning and we're about to head through security. Done it, we've made it through security. It's only 4.30 a.m. So that's that's success. Uh, we've I'm made in progress. I'm in the market for a new job. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Marshy. Uh, he's currently sick. Uh, but we're, out, we're about to get on the plane and we're heading to Dublin. Hopefully the weather in Dublin's a bit better than it is here. It's time. Just like that, we've made it to Ireland. That flight was so quick to be fair. I've lost Holly, I don't know where she's gone. Am I she to be fair? But I'm gonna head through security and I'm gonna find them later. Right, I found the Holly Bashi and uh, we've landed in Dublin, so what's the first thing we're gonna do? Go to the Guinness factory. Yeah, nine in the morning, it'd be rude not to. <laughs> You can tell we're getting close. Honestly, this, this logo and this name is everywhere. Look at us tourists taking photos. Um, but I believe if we go down here, um, we're getting close to the tour. This is pretty cool. So we're in the Guinness uh, factory. We're going to do a storeroom tour. Got a free drink coupon. Um, and we're going to have a look see around. I've tried not to film too much of this tour because I want to be vlog to be focused around the football but uh, we're currently going in here so this is potentially the most exciting part yeah go on if you're not getting all of these flavors at the moment there's one thing to do and that is practice but you're in uh, the taste test was delicious and this is the Guinness heart that's pretty crazy pretty cool one of the weirder things in the, this place that's a fish riding a bike and the, the saying down there says a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle can't argue look how beautiful this is you can tell it's not their first rodeo also when you're up here at the sky bar um it's a full 360 degree oh, sorry gravity bar full 360 degree view and it's very very cool cheers 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 gotta enjoy Delightful. We have left the Guinness uh, store in Bari Bari Bar, and this right here is the Temple Bar. Uh, apparently, pretty famous, pretty cool. Uh, it looks pretty cool. We have found our accommodation. That was weird. Um, so this is our room for the night. Um, at a travel lodge, does the job, everything we need. Now we're chilling for a second because we're absolutely knackered because it's been a long day. And then um, we're getting ready to head to the game, or to the pub before the game. It's time, we've got the kit on. Come on the all whites, Holly does have a flying Kiwi shirt on. It's hiding, oh, I still didn't see it. But uh, we're about to head, the flying Kiwis all meeting up at a pub pre-game. So we're gonna go find uh, the lads and lasses. And then it's game on! I'm buzzing, I'm so excited. Our first glimpse, our first view of the stadium, just down there, it looks like this. Such, such a sick stadium to play out. I'm buzzing, I can't wait to get inside. I believe we found it. I think this is the pub we're all meeting at. We might be the first, yeah. We found the Kiwis, we've got New Zealand flags and tablecloths. We are blowing up Kiwis. Flying Kiwis are in full force here at Ireland. It's so good to see. All right, we've just left the bar. Holly and I, we've got to go track down our tickets um, because we've got to pick them up. And we don't know where we're sitting. Hopefully, we're going to be able to meet up with all the Kiwis and so we're going to make it happen no matter what. But yeah, we're going the opposite way to all the traffic right now. And there's a lot of uh, Ireland fans and I'm the only one wearing an Engl uh, England? New Zealand jersey. We've done it. We've sourced the tickets. Uh, that's good news. Now we've just got to see where we're sitting and fingers crossed. <laughs> This isn't going to mean anything to me, but we'll work it out. A bit of fun. We're currently at turnstile like O and N, and we need to get to turnstile F. So that means we literally have to go around to the other side of the stadium. Uh, but it's a little wander pre-game. Stretch the legs out. 
We've made it in time. It's about time to hit it. It's a moment of truth. Does it work? Yeah. Yes. Almost died walking through, but we made it. Let's go. We're in block 127, and I know all the flying Kiwis are on block 129. So my hopes and prayers is that I can get to them. If I can't get to them, I'm finding a way to get to them. But we're here, and it looks like we're not in a New Zealand fan zone. So I might need to zip this up. Here we go. First look at the stadium. This is sick. This is a really, really cool stadium. The roof is fuzzy ass, and the flying Kiwis are just over there. To get there, I think. We've done it, we've made it, we've found the flying kiwis. Come on, here they come, here come the boys. Come on, Chris, come on, Chris Wood. Oh, I'll tell you what, I haven't seen anything so far, but I am beyond excited to watch Joe Bauer. I grew up playing with him, it's been a long time since I've even seen him, let alone playing. For the all right, so I'm buzzing, buzzing to see them play. Hey, what a squad. How <laughs> look at these boys. And the all white kit as well. What a clean kit. I'm a big, big fan. <laughs> oh, I cannot oh. explain how excited I am for this game. Oh, yeah. This is so well done, these. We're praying. 3 0, 3 0. We've got to get our score predictions in. What are you saying? 2 um, 1. 2 1 to us? I'm a fan of that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go scrap one nil to us. Come on, boys. We're, we're fighters. We're battlers. We're taking it out. Just like that, we're kicked off. Game is underway. I don't get us started. Oh, this is a big 90 minutes ahead. Oh, go on. Yes, up it. Oh, it's a good start to the game. Growing opportunities. Yeah, well, 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 there we go. They're, they're worried about us. They're getting the sickies on us. Surely we don't need it. They're getting the sickies on them. I've got a tune. I've got a tune. <laughs> Viva Kakache! And they've given one minute of extra time, so it's pretty much half time, one nil down to Ireland. A bit of a lucky goal defensive blunder, but all to play in the second half, and they're gonna be attacking this goal, which I'm buzzing for. We've just had kick off, the second half is underway, it's a massive second half for New Zealand, but I'm excited because the boys are shooting towards this goal right here now. So hopefully it's a big half of football. Second half is started off hot. He was have had some shooting opportunities. Holly's been in charge of the camera. She's Sorry, a professional okay, bobbler yeah. now. I you know what you did.
60 minutes in, I'm losing my voice, we're struggling, it's one all, it's a massive last 30 minutes on this game, but oh, come on, there's a, there's a winning goal here somewhere. Somehow we now have more Kiwi fans than we started with, and a lot of them look like Irish children, I don't know how this has worked out. And we've got about 25,500 people in the Kiwi zone, so come on. Oh, I don't know if it's been captured on here. We had a one on one, it was so close to score. We've got two minutes left in the 90. There's a winner here somewhere. Oh, please. Even better because of the fans we're with down here at the Fly Kings. It's been unbelievable. Oh, Hopefully, we're going to see some of the boys. Here the boys are. What a game. Oh, what a game. The boys. Joe as well. That's a wrap on the game. We're heading out of the stadium. I got to see Joe after the game, talk to him, and he gave me his match worn shirt. Honestly, one of my prized possessions now. I said to Joe, it's so cool seeing a kid you grew up playing with, um, playing alongside, like, years and years and years of your life then out playing international football and he was captain as well once Chris Wood went off honestly incredible evening <laughs> this guy right this guy got Chris Wood's shirt on the Kiwis on the Kiwis that's a result by the way one all and we had the chance to win it as well twice sorry this vlog probably took a bit of a backseat because I was trying to get this one social clip but man what an evening I absolutely love it I'm losing my voice H what are you saying no, last right, <laughs> she's so hard, she's tired. But yeah, uh, I think it's back to the pub, and then we'll see where the night takes us. Yeah. <laughs> back to the hotel for the night. What an evening! We've just been at the pub again, uh, chatting with the Kiwis. It's so nice to be surrounded by Kiwi accents. It's weird. It feels like you're at home. Yeah, it was really nice to meet everybody. Yeah, but. What a game and what a result. That's our first result against a European team since Italy in the 2010 wild. World Cup. We played bloody well. The second half was definitely better than the first part. Agreed. We grew into the game. We got more and more confident. But my favourite thing that came out of the game, I'm so, so happy with this. Joe Bell, match one shirt. It's got the mud on it. Got everything. But got the mud, got the blood. Yeah, got the mud, got the blood. Definitely gonna need to wash when we get home. But I'm gonna be wearing that in content for sure. I'm so excited. Absolute legend. I I mentioned it before. I'm so it's something so proud and so cool seeing your mate who grew up playing football with all of a sudden captaining your national team. It's it's nuts. But what a worthwhile trip. It was great. Yeah. To Dublin, and More we got on. Day. I was about to say that. You're vlogging, you know. There's flying Kiwi over here, biggest fan. Anyway, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry, it's probably a very long one, but it's worth it because it's always a plan. Thanks for watching. I shall see you tomorrow.